Well, the town of Brownsburg here locally is honoring the victims of 9-11 in a big way. That's right. There's a new memorial right in the heart of the town to remember those we lost. And our own Randall Newsom, he's there for today's ceremony. Randall, can you tell us what's the atmosphere like out there? Guys, during this ceremony, I got chills. I mean, people shedding tears about those 9-11 victims 18 years ago. But today here in Brownsburg, they honored them in a brand new way. Check it out. A somber moment on a monumental occasion. Everyone remembers where they were. Oh, I was in preschool or kindergarten. I was a junior in high school when this happened, um, when this horrible event happened. How they felt when the terrorist attacks of 9-11 shook the country. It hit and everybody was kind of like, uh, this is odd, but, you know, we didn't really know what was going on. And then when the second plane hit, it was like dead silence. Everything stopped and we knew that something really bad was happening. Here in Brownsburg, the heart of a brand new memorial is a broken piece of a day our country is still trying to put back together. One of the beams from the World Trade Center. When you walk up and see something like that, it just brings it right back. It's like it happened yesterday almost. Just seeing the memorial, like the fact that it's pointing to New York. Unbelievable that that so many people lost their lives and that something like this happened. And so many families were yes. changed forever. A reality that hit very close to home for Emily Barta. I knew one of the flight attendants. Um, she was actually my babysitter when I was a little kid, Alicia Titus. She was on United 175. It still hurts when she thinks of how things could have been different. She had tried to change her flight. She had tried to change her work schedule to be with family um, just days before 9-11, 2001, and it didn't happen. A place where everyone can come to mourn to remember together and even celebrate new beginnings like a baby boy born on the same day. Now with him being born, it brought a whole new meaning to 9-11 uh, for us, you know, a little light in the darkness of a dark time in our country. The day that broke us, but also brought us closer. I hope they can look back on how the country was right after. Um, we were all about love. The whole country came together. It didn't matter what you looked like or anything, what color you were, man or woman. We just all loved each other. Seeing it here and seeing people paying their respects to it, it, it reminds me of a better time in our country's history. They might not physically feel our arms around them, but we're holding them close and we love them and we just pray for them all the time. Yeah, just some great moments there, as you can see in that story. And coming up at 430, we'll talk to some of the Brownsburg firefighter team that's behind this whole project. We'll see you then.